I, I've had people kind of give me give me grief sometimes for saying, you know, it's it's kind of like the American dream to own a business, and maybe maybe not. I think it I think that's age demographic a little bit, but the one thing that is pretty much across the board is how do I how do I control my existence? How do I still enjoy it? How do I provide for my family, my future, um, but enjoy things along the way? Welcome to Frank Coach's Franchising 101 podcast series. Here we talk about all things franchising. What is it all about? Is it for you? How do you find the best one to own? And so much more. Now your host, Tim Parmeter. Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to the Fran Coaches Franchising 101 podcast series. I am Tim Parmeter, founder and CEO of Fran Coach and your podcast host. Um, very excited, kind of maybe a little selfishly today, to uh, have a celebration of sorts with you uh, on our episode. Today is the 50th episode of the Franchising 101 podcast series. I can't believe it. I remember back uh, when this thing was just a baby and we were uh, burping it and changing diapers every single day. But now, amazingly, we're 50 episodes in. And um, really, if I'm going to be honest, I didn't know we'd get past the first or second one of these. Uh, but here we are. And want to thank you, our uh, fantastic listeners and subscribers to the Franchise in 101 podcast for making us get here and being excited about what's to come. Um, I'm certainly more thrilled about the podcast uh, turning uh, 50 with the episodes and certainly I was when I turned 50 myself. Uh, hopefully uh, better things are to come for the podcast series. Not so much probably for me moving forward, but um, definitely want to kind of talk about uh, maybe can make this episode a little bit more personal and, and but tied into what we hear a lot. And, and that's the, the importance of lifestyle from a business owner perspective. Um, so we're going to definitely talk about that. I, I want to kind of share some things that are coming down the road with the podcast series. One of which, um, if you are on Spotify or, or Apple, uh, Apple um, or whatever podcast platform you listen to, you are probably fortunate in not realizing that today is our first one of these we're doing with video. So hi, everybody. Um, greetings from the home office in lovely Pima, Arizona um, for this. But part of this is, is really the Frank Coach YouTube page starting to take off as well. So we wanted to, uh, to kind of have this approach with it. Um, but I want to share some upcoming things, but, but first let's, let's always do the, the basics of let's tell you who we are first in case this is your first time tuning into the podcast. So Fran Coach is a national search firm and we are dedicated work to working with individuals just like yourself who may be interested in owning a franchise. We are partnered with over 500 of the top franchisors in the country spanning nearly 60 industries. Our goal is to help clients find the absolute best franchise for them to own. And our goal of the Franchising 101 podcast series is to help educate people on all aspects of franchise ownership. Um, small bonus if we have a little fun along the way, then fan stinking tastic. Um, so that's us. But I want to talk just very simply, I'm going to use the word lifestyle for this. And me personally, but for the clients we work with, one of the things we always talk about kind of early on is why in the heck are we looking at franchise ownership? Why are, why are you even on the phone with me, with the Fran Coach team to explore this? And many, many times we will hear the word lifestyle, improved lifestyle, or we'll hear buzzwords that go with that more freedom, more flexibility. Um, just recently, we have somebody that we're talking to, a brand new baby. Um, um, that changed them. Uh, we've got another couple, they've got a three-year-old and they tra- the, one, of the, one of the two spouses and parents travels a lot and for lengthy times with their job. That's not conducive to really being there and having that family experience. Um, and so really, basically everybody we talk to, one of those words come, comes into play. And it means a lot to me too, because that's really why I started Fran Coach dang near seven years ago. Um, my son just turned eight. So we can do a little simple math as to how old he was back then. Um, 
and was one of those situations where I wanted the flexibility. I wanted the freedom to be able to spend time with him. Uh, we were in a situation where it was going to be one of those fun co-parenting things. Um, so I wanted to make sure when I had my time with him that it was my time with him. Um, Today is a great example. Um, he's here with me. We're on summer break, which um, anybody who wants to vote for a year round school, I'll definitely throw in my uh, hand for that. But we took, he had a camp today at 11 o'clock. So we got to hang out this morning. He was doing a little work. He was playing, um, doing whatever the heck he was doing in the other room. And then I had an opportunity to kind of break away and take him to, 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 to camp. Um, may seem like a simple thing, but it's my time to be able to spend with him, make sure he's good and enjoy as much time as I can. Because just like the podcast, he's growing rapidly too. And um, so whether it is, and that was really kind of the start of the business for me. And then it turned into being able to help so many people with that same goal, control their existence. Um, yes, with the business, you have no ceiling on what you can, what you can do financially and what that looks like that's awesome. Um, and as happy as I am about what that's done for, for me, my business, the, the time I get to spend with, 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 with him is way better. Right. Um, so, so that's cool. I, I am also, I, I'm, I'm engaged. My fiance lives in another state. Roll your eyes all you want. We hear it every single day, but I have the flexibility and the freedom within my lifestyle to hop on a plane pretty much every week. Um, fly down, see her, spend all the, spend all the time we can. We just got back from Mexico for a week. Um, all of those things, again, lifestyle, work hard with the business, grow it, make it, turn it into whatever you want. Um, but enjoy those things in life that are important to us. Right. And so very, very consistent. Um, I would say for, for me with that, but for everybody else that we talk to, um, looking, looking at this, um, and, this podcast was kind of born out of that was to provide more resources to help educate people. Um, our episodes of the first 50 have been in kind of a couple of different segments. We've done some one on basically some just me um, and giving you some insight to different, um, maybe kind of niche aspects of the world of franchising, franchise ownership, the Frank coach process, um, we've been able to have some uh, industry experts on to talk about uh, a variety of different topics um, with, with, with three great ones on how to scale and grow your, your franchise. Um, we have our monthly franchisor um, webinars that we do where we feature one of our, our franchise partners and give them 30 minutes to really talk about their brand. Um, and we've done some, probably some of my favorite ones have been our segments that are called In Their Words, which we have our former friend coach clients who have turned into franchise owners. They've come on and talked about their experience. And, and I think maybe we've had a half a dozen or so of those and, and a couple more teed up here for the next few weeks. Just just absolutely love those. Um, and so it's provided people more resource. And really, again, that consistent theme with, with, with all of this is creating that creating that lifestyle. Um, I, I've had people kind of give me, give me grief sometimes for saying, you know, it's, it's kind of like the American dream, don't a business. And maybe, maybe not. I think it, I think that's age demographic a little bit, but the one thing that is pretty much across the board is how do I, how do I control my existence? How do I still enjoy it? How do I provide for my family, my future, um, but enjoy things along the way? So that's really been, been, been key for this. And, and that was the driver for it. And then at kind of the evolution of the podcast is a, a few things. One, if you haven't checked it out yet, we have a franchise uh, 101 podcast specific website. Obviously, the francoach.net is our main page. Go there anytime. Franchising 101 podcast.net. Um, cleverly titled took us, I don't know, like a good, good three, four minutes to figure out the name of that, but franchising 101 podcast.net um, is there all things with our podcast. Um, we've got a couple of things coming with that uh, as, as well. Um, I learned a couple of terms here recently from my eight-year-old. He was telling me that with the podcast um, that we need merch. And I said, what the heck is merch? And he said, dad, you know, it's merch, merch is merch. Um, 
that didn't really help me. But what he meant was merchandise. Aha. So like, that's actually brilliant. I'm taking marketing advice from my eight-year-old now. Uh, so we have Franchising 101 podcast merch coming. Uh, there'll eventually be a little tab on the website for that. So frankly, I think that's cool. Maybe nobody else, but we got some cool stuff. Same thing for, for Fran Coach. Um, our uh, kind of marketing partner, uh, Create a Shift, has uh, created some some awesome little kind of gift baskets and, and things for, for our clients. Um, that's really cool as well. That's kind of where that, that merge comes. Um, the other cool word I heard from my eight-year-old with the same level of expert definition and explanation was, was subs. We have to have subs. I didn't know what the heck subs was as an, as a former, former athlete. I'm thinking I'm getting subbed out of the game again. That didn't seem like a lot of fun. Um, but he met subscribers. Um, so depending on where you're checking us out, um, follow us on whatever, uh, podcast platform, YouTube, subscribe to our channel, uh, Fran coach, all the social media platforms. We are there as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, apparently this, this thing, the cool kids are doing called TikTok. We even have TikTok stuff's coming. So, um, again, we just want to be able to kind of reach people again in their lifestyle. What's best for them. Are you a listener? Are you a watcher? Are you a reader? You can go old school, um, on the friend coach, Dot net site and read all of these things as well through through our through our blogs, other one pages, resources that we have. So we're we're basically basically wherever we're taking over your franchising life with that. Um, but one thing I'd like for folks to listen, we've gotten some great feedback and we're well over 10,000 people have listened to a franchising one-on-one podcast episode. Um, so hopefully that will continue to grow as well. If there's something we haven't talked about yet that you would like us to, to discuss on a future episode, um, go to franchising101podcast.net. Uh, there's a contact us form. Send us what the heck you want us to talk about. Um, if we use it, guess what? We're going to send you some merch. I'm going to let my son Logan pick it out for you. So you got to deal with that, but we'll send you something cool. Uh, we want to hear that. We definitely have more Franchise or spotlights, we're going to do those at least once a month. The in their words, probably about that same time. We're going to always try to make sure we've got some industry experts coming in. You're probably just going to hear me yak from, from time to time on these as well. Uh, but again, what those, what those topics are, what we're missing, what you want to hear, um, let us know. Let's get something like that on the air. Um, that's it, man. I just, I, again, I thank everybody for being there with us through the, through the first 50 episodes of the franchising one-on-one podcast can't wait to get to the next 50 um thanks to those in the fran coach team that have really helped make this possible um there's not a lot of us but uh we're we're, we're, we're here um and i'm gonna do this off the top of my head so i don't hope i don't forget anybody uh but to elizabeth and Lindsay, even key with with the the, the franchising 101 podcast uh shelly and michelle Brittany, uh, huge with that. Danielle, um, got a couple others that, that do some things, um, kind of on the side for us, but can't do anything without, without those guys. So, so thank everybody very, very much for that. Um, and then lastly, anytime you're thinking about franchise ownership, uh, we, we hope the podcast will help enlighten you about the world of franchising and franchise ownership opportunities. If you would like to learn more about potentially becoming a franchise owner and have that lifestyle that you want and really control of day in, day out, what you're doing, we've talked numerous times about the get out of bed test, um, but control your life personally, professionally, financially. If you'd like to learn more about becoming a franchise owner to do that, then go back to that franchising101podcast.net website or francoach.net shoot us a note. We'll get a call scheduled. There's never, ever any fee for our service. So we encourage you to take that first step today to help create your better tomorrow. Thanks everybody for tuning in, being a big supporter. We look forward to talking to you very, very soon. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to Fran Coach's Franchising 101 podcast, where our ultimate goal is to help educate you on all things franchising so you can create your better tomorrow. 